Hey guys, Pot Fitter Thursday. Bringing right to you from Schofield Weldon. Always here to help you. <laughs> from the neighborhood of the Hooch. From the neighborhood of the Hooch. All right guys, hey. Okay, we're working through some more takeoffs. We're working through this ISO right here. It's gone on another print, but I drew it on here to make it a little bigger. Uh, we got a three inch, 300, or 600 pound flange. And let me show you what a 600 pound, how you can tell. Okay, these numbers right here are heat numbers, identification numbers, and and they tell you what it is. So I got three inch, 600 pound. That's what that means. And that's the weight, that's the weight of the flange, all right? That's, um, I don't really know why it's 600, but I know that it's thicker. Anyways, okay. Easiest way to find takeoffs on a flange. Take a tape measure, run it right through it, and it's three and a half inches, okay? So flange is good. We got a T that we're tying into right here. So the best way to figure out a T, and as long as it's a like a three by three T, this works every time. If it's a three by two, I'd look it up in the book because this is gonna be different than this is. Alright? Run your tape through it. We're six and three quarter, which half of that is what, Jed? Three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. Oh, dude, this whiteboard's a, it's a fish. A lot of welders comment on it, they like yeah, it. Yeah, I think they like it a lot. But uh, anyways, and then we have a reducer that's welded right onto this T. Okay, so this flange, okay. So this piece is gonna look like this. And then it's gonna have a pup coming off of this end with that flange on it. So, we need to figure out our takeoff. Two by three T takeoff is three and a half inches. Okay. All right, guys, now let's work through this. That information is also in your blue book, but yes. it's good to double check. It is. Get my hair out of the way. All right. Not too many people say that, huh? Mostly girls, I think. It's kind of got, got to get my hair out of the way. Okay. <laughs> so right now, so this is fitting to fitting, and we need to find this pup right here. So we know that this T from center of T to the edge to, to weld is uh, three and three eighths inches. So, all right, we went and pulled measurements on it and from face of flange to center of T is 29 foot six inches. Write it on there like you're so really like 29 oh, foot good, six good, inches good minus. Okay, where so should we do it? Can you see it good right here? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, 29 foot six inches minus your T, which is from this point, center, center of T, to face of weld. So, we're looking at this, we're measuring from this point to right here, okay? Mm -hmm. That's three and three eighths inches. So minus three and three eighths inches. Guys, these calculators are the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a super easy calculation, but I don't like doing it because they made technology to do it. So let's get in there. Okay. okay, let me show you how to type that in. It's 29 feet six inches minus three inches three eighths. So right now we're at 29 foot two and five eighths inches. Okay, so now we're from this point this way, okay? We gotta figure out what our flange takeoff is, which is three and a half inches. So, minus three, one half inches. Jed, do you have all this? Yep. Okay, you're good? Yep, I can go that back up. Okay. So this is your, so this was the T. This is your flange. Okay, so then go minus three inches, one half, equals 28 foot, 11 one-eighths inches. 
that is my piece of pipe from weld to weld. That is what I have to cut out to make this fit together. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, bringing it straight to you from Schofield Welding. We love you guys. We're glad you're with us. Share this with all your friends. Be blessed. We'll see you.